At Care Patron, we are constantly looking at ways to improve. If you have any suggestions on how we can improve our content and platform, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Systems theory is a lens through which we can understand complex mental health issues by viewing them as parts of a greater whole. Rather than focusing on individual characteristics or human behaviour, systems theory emphasises the relationships and interactions within and between complex systems, whether they are families, social groups or societies. In essence, systems theory operates on a simple guiding principle. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. This means that to understand a person's psychological health, we need to consider more than just their personal experiences or genetic factors. We must also look at the larger systems they operate within. In the context of psychological practice, systems theory often informs therapeutic techniques, particularly in family systems therapy. Dr. Murray Bowen developed family systems theory aiming to focus on the family unit as a complex system and analyzing communication and emotional dynamics within the specific system. The systems theory has a distinct perspective that sets it apart from other types of psychological approaches. Understanding these differences can improve our appreciation of this unique perspective and its practical applications in modern healthcare. Familiarizing the key terms and concepts of systems theory is essential. Here we will explore some of the foundational ideas in systems theory. System. At the heart of systems theory is the term system itself, a set of interconnected parts that form a complex and unified whole. Subsystem. Delving deeper, we encounter subsystems, which are smaller systems within a larger one. In a family unit, for example, parent-child or sibling relationships can be seen as subsystems. Homeostasis. Homeostasis refers to a system's inherent drive to maintain balance or stability. Just as our bodies regulate temperature, psychological systems strive to maintain a status quo. Open versus closed systems. Systems theory also differentiates between open and closed systems. An open system interacts with their environment, exchanging information and resources, while closed systems are more isolated, with minimal interaction with their surroundings. Feedback loops. Feedback loops are processes through which a system regulates itself through cycles of input and output. Boundaries. In system theory, boundaries refer to the edges that define the limits of a system or subsystem. Equifinality and multifinality. Equifinality suggests that different pathways can lead to the same outcome in a system, highlighting the flexible nature of systems in reaching a state of equilibrium. Context. Finally, context is an essential concept in systems psychology. It emphasizes that no behavior or mental state can be fully understood without considering the broader environmental, cultural, and social context. To learn more about systems theory and psychology, go to our Care Patreon website or click on the link in the description. We have a range of guides and articles to help you learn more about different therapy techniques to incorporate into your practice. Care Patreon is a healthcare platform designed for you. Signing up is free. Just click on the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more content like this.